Let's dive right in here. Debo, not a major injury. What does that mean? Is he going to be out? And did he think it was a major injury, obviously, upon it happening? Is this a modern miracle or what took place over there, Jordan? He was scared. I think the Niners were really scared. You go back to looking at John Lynch, he obviously was very, very concerned. <laughs> um, but basically what happened was everyone thought it was a knee, but then I got the news that it was actually his ankle, which was really the best case scenario. And then the best case scenario after that was, you know what? It's actually not broken. It's not fractured. It's badly twisted. It's essentially a high ankle sprain. You can see it here. I mean, it looked really, really scary. Yeah, and disgusting. Actually, up like that, <laughs> you get you get really, really worried. But basically, it's four to six weeks. That's the general timeline. He doesn't have to have surgery. It's essentially just rest. And it's I would say the best case scenario. And when I talked to the Niners this morning, I think they were not only extremely relieved, but for a team that has had awful injury luck, it is the best possible news. Uh, I think so, too. And also, best possible news is that it was a grass field. Yeah. Uh -huh. right. Grass field. In the modern conversation of grass fields versus turf fields, was the grass forgiveness good? the reason why no major injury happened as his foot yeah. was in a figure four leg lock underneath a 315-pound man? Yeah. That was nasty to look at, Schultz. -y. Nasty. It was nasty. And... When he got carted off, that's the first one of the first things I thought of was this is grass because I, I talked to Calvin Beecham, who's 330 pounds starting tackle for the Cardinals, and he said, as you know, football is 100% injury guaranteed. But, but if you're going to get hurt, the chances of you getting seriously hurt are reduced considerably on grass compared to turf.